Hello everyone. I hope and pray that you are all well. Uh, today I just wanted to give a word of encouragement. We're living in a time of anxiety right now and I just wanted to share something that was on my mind. To begin I just want to tell you a story or a version of a story that I read recently. It was about a blind boy who used to sit every day outside of a building at the bottom of the stairs. At his feet there was a hat and he wanted his hat to be filled with money but usually he wasn't very successful. In his hand there was a sign and the sign said, I am blind, help me. People went backwards and forwards most of the day, pretty much ignoring him, so he only had a few coins in his hat. But one day, a man took compassion on this boy. As he was going past, he saw the sign and then he came back, put some money in the hat. Then he gently took the sign off the boy, turned it over, wrote something, gave it back to the boy, in a way which the passers-by would be able to see what was on the sign. Then he went on his way. Soon after that, there was a, a murmur, and then people started dropping coins in this little boy's hat. This day that he had this sign was more successful than the other days, and he was racking his brain to think, why is today more successful than the other days? And then he went on and he thought about the man who had written on his sign, and he thought, it must be to do with this man. But the first thing that he thought of was, I wonder what he wrote on the sign. But then as he started to think, he thought, well, to be fair, it doesn't matter what he wrote on the sign. The thing that I'm grateful for is the fact that he stopped in the first place. He took time out of his day and he wrote on my sign. In other words, he took time out so that he could help someone else. He showed compassion. That man showed compassion. In the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter, chapter 1, verse 3, it says this. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort. It says in this passage that God is the Father of mercies, but what does that mean? Well, it, merciful, being merciful or being the Father of mercies can be defined as giving the best that you can for somebody else. It means that you're being kind. It means that you are being compassionate. I like to say it's as though you are helping someone in order that their future is better than their past. This is what it is to be kind. This is what it is to be compassionate. This is what it is to be merciful. And I believe that this is what God is like. He wants us to do good things for other people. So other people can see that good things are happening in their lives. Now most of us know that good things do happen in our lives. Or we have good things that are in our lives. They could be friends. They could be family. They could be your iPhone or Android. They could be your computer. We have good things in our lives. But some people cannot see the good things in their lives because they are going through such a difficult time at the moment. Now is the time of coronavirus. If you say COVID-19 to someone, they will know what you're talking about. If you cough in somebody's direction, they will take a backward step from you. This is a time of anxiety. It's a time of separation because we've all been socially isolated as well. We've all been told to, to socially distance from one another. But at this time of social isolation, at this time of social distancing, is there anything that we can do to, to shorten that gap between us? Because there's a physical gap there, but can we make this gap smaller? Not physically, but perhaps relationally. I believe that we can. What are some of the things that we can do? We can call someone, somebody who is isolated. We can renew that friendship. You know that person that you were supposed to, to call and you always had in the back of your mind to call for the past few days, weeks, months or years? <laughs> now we can call them. We've got no excuse. We can bridge those gaps. So why don't we try to bridge the gaps in our communities, in our churches, in our streets, in our organizations, just doing the best that we can. Texting, phoning, WhatsApping, just so that the gap that is there at the moment will be reduced. And let us, that might make somebody feel a lot happier. That might make somebody feel content. That might actually help somebody's future to be better than their past. 
I just want to take a little bit of time to, to thank a few people as well. I want to thank a few people who have been compassionate, maybe not to me personally, but generally. First of all, there are our nurses and doctors, those people who are working in the NHS. They are being compassionate, being away from their families, and I pray that we will be able to be as compassionate as them. Now, there's not only these individuals, but there are also the key workers who are still working. Those people who are working in supermarkets, those people who are collecting our rubbish, the people who are working as postmen and women, they are being compassionate, putting other people's other people in front of themselves and I pray that we can be compassionate as well so why don't we do what we can to be compassionate other people are and that is what God is calling us to do so why can't we be compassionate as well now there are some people who think well that sounds like a good idea but what's in it for me if I'm compassionate what is in it for me well it's funny you should ask that because it because scientifically there has been some research done saying that compassionate is not being compassionate is not only good for the person who is receiving the compassion but it's good for the person who's giving the compassion as well it does many things it, it calms people's moods it lowers and stabilizes people's blood pressure and at times like this it, it helps your immune system too it encourages it to be more to work better and become more efficient these are some of the things that it does and also i was reading somewhere that being compassionate actually has an effect on our physical aging. The more that we are compassionate, the slower that the aging process actually takes place. So there is something in it for you too. And I think it's incredible that my God has designed us in such a way that anyone who is receiving compassion is being helped. But also the person who is giving the compassion, also the person who is being kind, they are receiving something as well. That to me is absolutely incredible. So why don't we all try to make somebody else's future better than their past by being compassionate? So in short, I'm saying this. Be compassionate because it helps you. Be compassionate because it helps other people. And be compassionate because this is what God is like. And he's calling us to be compassionate as well. And when we are compassionate, we are making somebody's future better than their past. What does it say in first in Second Corinthians? Let's just read that one more time. Second Corinthians chapter one, verse three. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, or the Father of compassion, and the God of all comfort. Let's be compassionate in the things that we do because it will help somebody's future to be better than their past.